So let's take a look at how to edit ad groups in Google Ads. Now I'm in the new user experience. You can actually switch between the old design and the new design up here. Um, but once you're in your Google Ads account, you should see the option to select campaigns up here. So I have this Phoenix Closets campaign selected. Once I have a campaign selected, then I can open the drop downs here and click on ad groups. That's going to open up all of the ad groups that are in this campaign here, right? And then we can see that there are three different ad groups here. One is actually a dynamic ad group, which means there's not much that we can actually edit in that ad group because it's dynamically created. And then there's two other ones that we've created manually and you can see the ad group type right here. So the, there's two that are standard and one that's dynamic. And those are essentially the two different types of ad groups that you can have. And if you're finding that you're unable to change something for an ad group, you might find that it's because it's a dynamic ad group rather than a standard ad group, right? So let's go ahead and select one of these ad groups. And now that we have this ad group selected up here, we can edit a few different things in this actual ad group. First of all, you can pause an ad group just by clicking this option and setting it to pause. You can also remove it from the campaign or the account. It'll still be there, so you'll still be able to see it, but it won't be, it's, it's more or less like removing it from your account in Google's eyes. Uh, but most of the time, I'll just pause an ad group if it's something that we don't want to keep running. Um, and, you know, that way we can come back and enable it later down the road. I'm actually going to switch over to this other one here. Okay, so now with this ad group selected, we can edit a few different things here. The first is going to be the ads. And now we can see that there are a whole bunch of different ads that are in this one ad group. And over here in the ad types, we can see that there's some expanded text ads which are no longer available. So we can't actually edit those or change those at all. We've got a call ad here, so we could edit and change that if we wanted. And then a responsive search ad, we can edit that here. So of course you can add in more ads to your ad group. So that's one way that you can edit the ad group. You can also pause the ads or remove the ads. And part of what you're wanting to try and do here is get your ad group set up with keywords as you know, a specific set of keywords and then have those, the ads in that same ad group be related to those keywords. So you can see the headline here says custom closets in Phoenix. So when we go over to the keywords for this ad group, we should see that it's talking about custom closets in Phoenix. So let's do that now. If we come over here to audiences and keywords, then all we need to do is click on search keywords right here. And now we can see all of the search keywords in this ad group that we have selected. And of course, it's talking about custom closets, Phoenix closets, Phoenix custom closets, custom closets, Phoenix, Arizona, etc. So those ads that we were just looking at that are talking all about custom closets in Phoenix are showing up when somebody is searching for Phoenix custom closets, right? <laughs> Makes total sense. And then these keywords are in a bunch of different match types. So we've got exact match, phrase match, and broad match. I won't go into all the details about that, but you can switch those here. So you can just click and change those if you want. I personally recommend just adding new ones and pausing the ones that you're not using. Because if you go through and edit these, then you'll lose all of the data that you've collected for each of these keywords. Um, like this is an example where we edited the keyword and now you can see there's no data for this keyword. So typically, if you're going to edit the keywords in an ad group, it's best to use the add keyword option here, where you just click to add a new keyword. And then if you want to remove a keyword, you just pause it. You can technically remove it, but typically I would just pause it. Now there's um, a handful of other things that, <clears throat> that you can edit in an ad group. You can edit the settings themselves right here. So from here, you can actually change the name of the ad group if you wanted to. So you can just change it to whatever you want, click save, and you can quickly and easily rename your ad groups. So 
There are also some additional settings in here, like if you want to change the URL options, the ad rotation, but typically the main things you're going to be changing in the settings is just enabling and disabling the ad group and then changing the actual name of the ad group. Now you can also change the audiences within each ad group. And usually if you're going to be setting up audiences like custom segments, you're going to do that at the campaign level because trying to do that for each individual ad group can be a lot of work. <laughs> but, you know, it, it may be that you're finding one ad group is performing really well with like a certain gender or a certain age of people or people with a certain household income. If that's the case, then you can adjust the, uh, you know, the audience settings. You can add some exclusions and do whatever you need to do to optimize the audience for each individual ad group. So that's going to be the main items that you'll edit in an ad group. You'll have the, you know, ad group settings like the name of the ad group, whether it's paused or enabled, the actual audience, the keywords within the ad group, and then the ads themselves in the ad group. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to edit ad groups in Google Ads or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out and just drop your questions in the comments section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Um, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries, and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you